Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry will most likely get diplomatic status in the U.S. Since announcing their intent to step down as senior working members of the British royal family in January 2020, Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, have given the public periodic updates on what's next for them. However, in the recent weeks following their final royal engagements, those updates have come to a screeching halt. The Sussexes have decided to shutter their Sussex Royal Instagram account and website to rebrand elsewhere at a later date. Still, we do know that just before the border between the U.S. and Canada closed, the duo left their rented home on Vancouver Island for their new permanent home base in Los Angeles, California. Now questions are stirring regarding Prince Harry's citizenship, and we think we have an answer. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's marriage caused a ton of financial red tape. Though she applied for UK citizenship, the Duchess of Sussex never achieved it. She has remained an American citizen. Prince Harry has British citizenship, while baby Archie is a dual citizen. Unfortunately, because of this, the Sussexes' union was a financial headache. The Duchess has continued to pay U.S. taxes. Prince Harry will continue to pay the U.K. taxes on the $13 million and $9 million inheritances he received from his late mother, Princess Diana, and the Queen Mother, respectively. Now that he will be living in Los Angeles permanently, he will be required to give the U.S. a chunk as well. Likewise, as he and the Duchess work toward financial independence, the money they receive from Prince Charles is likely to be taxed. Prince Harry's UK citizenship might be a nightmare for the couple. At present, the Sussexes are in Los Angeles practicing self-isolation near Hollywood. However, they are reportedly eyeing an $18 mansion as their permanent home amid Mexit. Royal expert Katie Nichol told Vanity Fair, They are genuinely excited about the next chapter. It hasn't been an easy time for them, but they are looking forward to starting a new chapter and being the couple they want to be. They really want to make a difference on a global level, and they are very ambitious about what they want to achieve. Still, their new Hollywood life could certainly live the pair exposed financially. International tax planning lawyer Diane Mahoney told Town & Country, If Harry becomes a resident of the United States, his entire worldwide wealth would become subject to U.S. taxation, which I know they want to avoid. Prince Harry could receive diplomatic status in the U.S. Instead, the pair might have a different strategy. Since the Sussexes are looking to remain in the U.S., as for an extended period of time, the Duke will need a visa of some kind. Matteo Carrera, an immigration law researcher at New York's Cardozo Law School, told The Telegraph, the Prince will most likely be granted an A-1 visa, which is reserved for diplomats and government officials. From there, the Prince could adjust his status to a green card, and in three years' time, became an American citizen. However, considering the financial implications, we doubt he'll go that far. For now, the Duke and Duchess are focused on family. What's most important right now is the health and well-being of everyone across the globe and finding solutions for the many issues that have presented themselves as a result of this pandemic, they stated in their final Sussex Royal Instagram post. As we all find the part we are to play in this global shift, and changing of habits. We are focusing this new chapter to understand how we can best contribute. While you may not see us here, the work continues. Another report. Meghan Markle's next projects include cookbook, blog and kitchenware line, says Source. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, is known for being a people person, which makes the career of being a royal much more isolating than what she obviously preferred. Now that she and Prince Harry have stepped aside as official royals, her life has shifted back to somewhat like it was before. 
Even though it seems Prince Harry and Meghan are nomads lately, Meghan is reportedly already making plans to do some things connecting with people again. Part of this will involve reviving one thing she once had online and previously forced to shut down. Also, she may be creating a product line, proving definitively Meghan is no longer a senior royal. The stigma of being a senior royal for Prince Harry and Meghan. Prince Harry was reportedly the one who orchestrated removing his and Meghan's senior royal titles, a designation one might snicker at anyway considering their ages. The royal couple is reportedly very happy. They managed to remove themselves from the clutches of the British press. It gives an opportunity for not only Prince Harry and Meghan to find peace, but also a more normal upbringing for baby Archie. Cutting ties with the royals meant finding some inroads to earning their own income as well. Because Meghan loves linking with the public, starting new endeavors with the potential to connect with consumerism and people was no surprise. As U.S. Weekly reported recently from inside sources, Meghan's top priority is continuing with their charity work. The couple reportedly has quite a few philanthropic ideas in the works. Although the real news is Meghan's pursuance of things that could generate millions of dollars for her and the family. One of those is going to be writing a follow, up to her previous cookbook called Together, Our Community Cookbook. What this will entail is unknown, unless it celebrates the food of Canada, or L.A., where they now live. Megan may resume her blog called The Tit. Many will remember back to when Megan had to shut down her old blog, The Tig, because royal protocol demanded it. Doing so is just one part of the isolation, becoming a royal requires. A number of Megan's fans later found the blog on archive.org and managed to post some of her essays. One talked about being enough, where she analyzed her early 20s and realized she could just be herself. It was an insightful examination of self-care, which was the blog's overarching theme. Reports are she may bring the TIG back into existence, presumably as a self-care blog again. Of course, the public may be able to leave comments when she posts new blogs. Even though Prince Harry and Meghan already connect with the public at times on their Instagram account, Meghan being able to do further on her blog would make it more. Talk about an easy monetization process for a blog. If she monetizes the TIG, no doubt it would generate millions of dollars in a short time. Megan will also put out cookware. According to the above U.S. Magazine report, Megan will also design and release cookware into the marketplace. Otherwise known as kitchenware, it's not hard to imagine Megan becoming almost like another Martha Stewart. Her first cookbook compiled recipes from women of families who lived in Grenfell Tower that tragically burned in West London. Perhaps her kitchenware will connect to something charitable in creating food celebrating solidarity as in the first book. The product plan sounds grounded since Meghan and Prince Harry perhaps cook their own meals nowadays. Being removed from having royal chefs prepare everything they eat so there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell. If you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.